What's up, guys? Welcome to the Cyber Hype. We are host Toshi, Vasilis, and Adonis, and this is your geek culture destination. If you guys are into gaming, anime, tech, sci-fi, you know, geek shit, you found the right channel. And we will be live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, 5 p.m. Pacific time. So if you want to tune in for some geek culture shit, this is the place to be. So tune in boy, to the cyber hype. Yeah. But for U.S. subscribers, it'll be available August 14th. So if you guys August are into 14th. The Legend of Korra, you could be able to spam that. You know what I'm saying? All Which that. one did you guys prefer? Did you what guys like Korra? Better? Yeah, what was I, better? Korra or, I didn't. Or I didn't watch all of it. I watched like two episodes and I was like, yeah. Yeah, I like um, Airbender better. Legend of <laughs> did Korra you watch all was of Korra? good. I watched everything, yeah. Okay. And Yeah, so what's your perspective from someone that finished it? Nah, I think <laughs> nah. I think Airbender is still better as a, as a whole. As okay. a whole situation, Airbender is definitely a better uh, series. I got a, I got a question. Or, yeah. Chat, what do you Cora, think? Cora versus Aang, who wins? Might be Aang. If you're talking about, are we talking about no avatar state, just them as themselves? I'm talking about the whole arsenal, bro. Whole arsenal. Okay. What's up? I think Aang, Aang's going to take it. Mm. Aang had more discipline in what was he, what he was doing, I think. Mm. Okay. You, you know what I'm saying? On, you think it was on some like Naruto versus Boruto vibes? Yeah. The nation of the world, like the, 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 uh, the nation. <laughs> Korra's. The, uh, how the world yeah. was kind of set up at that time. Yeah, I do like the core. Core was basically steampunk avatar. So if you watch it, it's like steampunk <laughs> avatar. Like it's because okay. really? everything, everything in that world is based around steam. So it was like they had okay. trains, they had cars, gotcha. they had blimps, they had you know they had. I mean, even though we've seen some in the, the other ones, but we've seen like blimps. more advanced. We've seen more advanced technology mm. in core and. Um, it was interesting. It was like a whole new advanced world. Like cities were more, more developed. They weren't like little villages. And like it was like real towns now. Right. You know what I'm saying? That had like factories and things like that. So, uh, what's the name? So, what's the name? Said um, Atomic Boat said she fought way harder villains. She did though. I I agree with that. The villains were crazier in Korra. I do agree with that. Mm. Uh, Ava, Aang, Aang was more of like a training situation where he came across a lot of people that he would level up off of but mm -hmm. in Korra it was actually like a villains like people that was trying to like it was like a whole organization versus you know what I'm saying that was trying to take shit down so okay, I think Korra for sure um, had better villains but Aang was the better avatar got it mm. okay yeah, I haven't. I I want to go back and watch Avatar because I know there's episodes that I haven't seen. Like I remember watching the show, um, but it wasn't like I wasn't religious like Dragon Ball with Avatar, The Last Airbender. Mm -hmm. So I know there's episodes that I haven't seen, but I understood the entirety of the story if that makes sense. Like I understood what was going on, but there's definitely details in that show that I don't know that I'm just completely. Like, oh, shit, like, I didn't see that episode, or I don't know that conversation, or I didn't know these relationships, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So there's something I definitely want to go back and actually dive in and just really, you know, marinate with the with the series. Just because mm -hmm. everything I did see with the series when I was a kid, I liked. But it was like, by the time it came on, we were, I think it, was, it came on in the afternoon, right, V? Like, we were at, already at home from school, I think it came on. Yeah, it came on in, like, early evening. Yeah, so, um, but it was like... For me, I was like, if it wasn't Dragon Ball, it was nothing to me. I was like, like ain't, if it ain't Dragon Ball. Ain't Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dragon Ball or nothing. Dragon Ball or nothing. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. I uh, I just I hear so many mixed reviews about Korra. Do you think? Do you? Oh, sorry, my here's my question. Do you think? Do you think the hate for Korra is is validated, or do you think like people are over they over hate the series? 
Um, I think it's just a hater thing. Yeah, I think it was just over hate. I, I, I mean, yeah, there's things about the series you're not gonna fuck with. But, you know, of course, that's just what it is. That's just, you know, what it. That's just what it is. Especially going from the original Avatar, it's like you see, right? The, the Avatar, I feel like Last Airbender is put into a classic category now. It's like its own thing. Like it's like, yo, Avatar, Last Airbender, fire. And then obviously you got Korra which is supposed to be a whole nother season or a whole nother situation. And people get stuck to the airbender. You know what I'm saying? It's the greatest, right. you know what I'm saying? It's like, I get it. It is definitely, but um, you got to open your mind up when you watch it, you know, just a little more mm-hmm. and, and try not to compare it to, to have you know what I'm saying? To, to that. It's, it's like its own little situation, right. um, you know, strong female protagonist and, Right, because I think the same team that did uh, Voltron did Korra as well, okay. like animation and all that stuff for that series. Okay. Um, I actually really like Voltron. Voltron's fucking fire. I love that series a lot. Um, yeah, the love triangles were crazy. Um, yeah, I see, uh, well, it says Day Night, but I know who that is. Um, the only thing that you disliked about Korra was the love triangles and the repeated mm. brattiness. And it was, and that's why I said it was like the, the discipline behind her was trash. Mm. And yeah, her, she was all, she herself was all over the place. She was kind of all over the place. Okay. And then obviously she had to get it together right. to, to obviously overcome. Um, but I mean, it's not, I, I like the series. I, I still like it. Right. I, I know who you are, Kaiser. I said, I said that's day night. I know who you are, but I didn't say, I, what? I I want to I want to I want to put this up. Uh, Derek uh, uh, Derek on Master says Cora had stronger physical attacks with her mastery of fire, earth, and water. Mm. She's a problem. Problem. Aang wasn't more skilled than Cora. Isn't uh wasn't more skilled than Cora. It's just Aang has more of a strong connection with the Avatar state. The battle would be long, but Aang would win. That's what I. That's why I was saying if it was Avatar State or base form. See, that's why. Mm. That's why I was saying because in base form, she gonna give him the hands, but in Avatar State, he's gonna smack her. Got and it. that's where I because she was able to. Um, she had a quick, quicker adaptability to the the uh, the styles, the different bendings. She's like you Naruto. Know? Right, she was able to pick up a little faster than Aang. Aang took him right. a while to get these things together. Obviously, he right. was still a quick learner, but right. she was like, "Oh, you doing that? Oh, you doing that? Oh, dang!" Like, got it. You know what I'm saying? She was on on her on her A game, and uh, but like I said, that Avatar state is that's a whole other different situation. Right.